Hi everyone, and welcome to another episode of Drive the Wheels Off. Today, we're going to be changing the oil on my 2011 MDX. Let's get started. Now let's take a look at the tools that we're going to need to do this job. We'll need a long funnel, some gloves, a rag, something to remove the old filter with. We need a ratchet with a 17 millimeter socket, an oil pan or bucket to catch the used oil, a creeper or a blanket, something to lay down on. We're going to need the filter and some oil. Today we're going to be using the Fram XG7317 and the oil we're going to be using is 5W20. If you're unsure of what type of oil goes in your vehicle, just check the oil cap and it's going to tell you right there on top. This one is 5W20 and that's what we purchased. If you can't find it on the cap, you can always find it in the manual or you can usually go online and find that information as well. I usually start by removing the oil cap and setting it right up on top, somewhere that is very visible. Then I'm going to crawl underneath and we're going to drain the oil. Now we're going to use our 17 millimeter socket and we're going to break it loose. One thing I'd like to note is that you should probably let your engine cool for at least an hour before you do this because you will probably get a little bit of oil on your hands and you don't want to melt your skin. So now we're going to loosen the bolt and we're going to put pressure towards the front of the vehicle to keep that oil in as long as possible. And you want to make sure that you have your oil pan directly underneath Now let's take our rag and clean up our bolt. Set your bolt off to the side, somewhere out of the way, and let that drain for a while. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn my pan. I'm gonna allow that to continue to drain, and then I'm gonna remove the old filter. Now we're going to use our filter clamp to loosen up the filter. <clears throat> Once you get it loosened, you can remove it by hand. Go slowly so you don't make too much of a mess. Now that you've removed your filter, make sure you dump that out and let it drain for a little bit. Once it's completely drained out, go ahead and turn it right side up. Now let's remove our new filter. And let's take our old filter and put it inside the box for disposal. Now what I like to do before I reinstall a new filter is I put a little bit of oil on my finger and I just go around the rim of the rubber seal. Not a lot, just a little, and then put a little bit on the thread as well. Now let's install our new filter. Now before we put everything back, let's just go around and clean any of the dirt and oil and stuff that's dripped. If you're going to do the rim on your oil filter, make sure it's a clean rag. You don't want to get any particles or anything up there. Just go ahead and wipe the rim a little bit. You're also going to want to clean under here where the bolt goes. And let's go ahead and put our bolt back in and snug it up with your ratchet. Now let's go ahead and put our filter in. Now with the oil filter itself, you don't want to get it crazy tight. You can use the filter clamp if you need to get some extra turn on it. Usually what I do is I will do it as tight as I can by hand. As you can see in a 2011 MDX the oil port is quite a ways down here so the funnel I use is quite long. Just put that in there. 
Now we're going to use our 5W20 full synthetic high mileage oil. After you get the majority of your oil in, periodically check with your dipstick to make sure that you don't overfill. We're not quite there yet. We can leave this out, clean it off, and continue to fill. Perfect. Now remove your funnel and replace your cap. Now turn your key into second position. Now your computer will come on. You're going to scroll using the scroll up or scroll down button until you find the temperature or the mileage for your oil. Once you find that, press and hold the reset button. Once the reset appears, you're going to scroll up to highlight it and press the select and reset button one more time. And now your oil life will go back to 100%. All right, everyone, that's it for this episode of Driving the Wheels Off. If you have any questions about what I've used in today's video, I'll put that in the description below. And if you could, please hit that like and subscribe. We would really appreciate it. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye.